Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Tarot Lessons. I'm Sally and I'm here with Sharon. Hi. Hi, and we're gonna talk about the Eight of Swords. Sharon, what do you have to say about this one? Oh wow, I really do not like to see that card come up, especially <laughs> in the now or in the future. <laughs> right? Um, my first instinct when I see her is, wow, she's trapped. She's mm -hmm. completely trapped. One thing I want to address that just really chaps my craw is everybody um, that I'd heard up until recently kept saying she'd done this to herself. Oh, God, yeah, I hate that. Mm -hmm. um, that's some talent there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, not, I, not particularly good because it's kind of loose. So she's <laughs> That's true, but, yeah, she wouldn't have been able to. It would have been even looser if she'd tied right? herself up. I right? don't say that she has no blame in it because... Uh, you know, that, that blindfold. She may have been blind to it all the time. This could be, first glance, this this could be an abusive relationship. And mm -hmm. she feels trapped. She has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. You've got that castle in the distance. Maybe they're what, you know, the people who did this to her or had something to do with it. Um, I'm kind of disjointed here because my brain is working so fast, so forgive me. One thing that... that really stands out to me is that she's surrounded by those swords there mm -hmm. there any step that she takes especially with that blindfold on or even if she tries to remove the 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 bindings from her arms she's going to get cut and the thing that 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 says to me that it's more than just one thing holding her in place. Mm -hmm. And if there were any way that she could strategically move just one sword, she'd have a lot more room to think mm -hmm. and be able to make any progress. As uh, Hopefully when you do a spread and this comes up, you'll get some indication of what sword needs to be removed first so that mm -hmm. they can move because right now she's she's in this swampy muddy place you know that, that's the least of her worries is right getting mud on her dress but she could she could fall face first and she would drown in mm -hmm. just that inch of water if she just mm -hmm. if she tripped over anything she would drown mm -hmm. so she's She's got the water, she's got the sword, she's got the bindings and the blindfold. And any form of help is so far in the distance, they probably can't even hear her screaming if she chose to. Right. And she doesn't even look like she's struggling. She just looks beaten, completely beaten. She yeah. doesn't see any way out of this. Mm-hmm. So how about you, now that I've depressed everybody? <laughs> right? No. You know, a lot of the same ideas, you know, with the blindfold, I often think that, you know, somebody has blinders on. You know, they're not really looking at the situation because they, they don't want to see it. Uh, that will hit me sometimes with this one. Those, those swords around her, she feels fenced in, like you were saying, fenced in, trapped. You know, she could be tightly wrapped. It, it could be your clothes are too tight. Maybe, you, you know, you feel like you've put on a few pounds and, and your clothes are feeling too <laughs> yeah. tight on you. Sure, that can happen. Yeah. Uh, you, you, could, you could take this a little more fun, especially if you pair it with other cards, but maybe you're into this. Maybe this is a pleasurable situation for you because some people really like this sort of thing. Very so true. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. And one thing I, I was thinking with this water, you know, I always see this water down here and somebody once said, yeah, our water is broken. So, you know, <laughs> which I thought was hysterical. And but, she's stuck. She has to have the baby in the taxi. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it, it, it looks like she's following this water. So maybe the answer is to follow your emotions. You know, don't oh. try to reason it out. Don't look at all these swords, you know, this intellectual approach. Follow your emotions. Yeah, because she's bound by the intellectual approach. Very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. And I know I said this earlier about abuse, but all the indicators of abuse are there. The isolation, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, what is it, gaslighting, all those little swords or all those mm -hmm. words that tell you you're not good enough. Yeah. And yeah. hearing, if you hear that enough, if you're treated that way enough, you begin to believe it. 
So mm-hmm. that water could be her salvation, you know, just let go of all the words that have been said and, and know who you are. I like that. I see it sometimes as cyberbullying as well. Sure. Any type of bullying, bullying situation could come out of this card. But definitely something that would um, hit at your confidence, hit at your self-esteem, uh, because it's not really hitting you physically. It's hitting you mentally and emotionally. Yeah. Although, sure, you, you could be in a physically abusive relationship if, if this card were to come up. But um, abuse comes in so many different forms. Right, and it usually starts with isolation from anybody who could support you. Yeah. Yep, and she's definitely isolated. I can't get stuck in the rut of always seeing that as abuse, no. like I said. No. But, yeah, when when I see it out of context, I'm like, oh, that poor thing. And I, you know, a lot of people do say, like, in an abused, abusive marriage or so, that the woman has the opportunity to leave at any time. They And they say that, you know, she does this to herself by staying But in that kind of a situation, you've been so isolated and you've been so uh, gaslighted that you Mm -hmm. really don't see any other options. You don't believe that you could make it on your own or or that anybody else would want to help you because you you don't have access to that. Your support system has completely cut off. I think that's Mm -hmm. a horrible situation. Mm Mm-hmm. But, you know, to look at this card in in a completely different light, maybe this card is telling you to exhibit some Mm self-restraint. You know, while it gets under our skin when people say she did this to herself, maybe the answer is, is you should restrain yourself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. could definitely be that. Because there is a possibility that she did, you know, wrap herself up like that. There is Mm -hmm. that possibility. But no, seriously, I had heard it so often that that was was really the meaning that I had for the card for a good 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now that, you know, I took the blindfold off, I see this could be so many other things. And like you said, it could be a situation that she wanted, that she really gets into. Right, right. And I think you pointed it out. There's a danger in just thinking about a card one way. It, it not only limits your readings, but it, it really limits the card. There's, there's more in this card. Just, just sit there and stare at it and imagine different scenarios. Don't just focus on the one. And we all do it. <laughs> oh, we do. We do. Especially when you just do an exercise one and one A. It's like uh, right. when you're by yourself, I can't see this card no different way. <laughs> right, right. So it's, find somebody else who opens your eyes because it's really easy to get that tunnel vision. And, and that's what you're seeing in this card sometimes is tunnel vision. Oh, God, yes. That is that is perfect because she's got the narrow corridor of sorts mm-hmm. to, to navigate. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, do you have anything to add to this one? Um, I'm trying to see how I would. I just turned her upside down. Let's see. That could be escape in reverse. Sure. It, it certainly could. A complete opposite. Um, it could be too much, too much that that you're gonna just explode because you are so limited. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You get a an abundance of limitation like that and she's not going to care whether she cuts herself on those swords you ever been locked in a room with claustrophobia a really small room oh yeah yeah luckily my room had glass doors but not for long (laughs) (laughs) yeah i can see your point yeah i was babysitting and the kids locked me in the the foyer the little place where you get the coat room uh-huh. And uh yeah, I got out pretty quick, but I was bleeding everywhere. Oh, no doubt. And that's what could happen to her. Yeah. And she wouldn't care. Just get out. Just get out. Yeah. And that's actually a pretty dangerous position to be in because you don't care about the consequences. No. No, you'll just do whatever you need to do. That's a fight or flight. Mhm. Mhm. Or it could be she's just so resigned to it that she's going to stay there forever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, reversals are an interest. We we need to do something on reversals at some point in time. Oh, we are. We're going to do court cards and reversals and aces. Wonderful. Wonderful. 
Wonderful. Yeah, because there are so many different ways you can see reversals in addition to just the general meanings of the cards that we see when they're right side up. And, and you know, in groups sometimes we've gotten reversals or upright positions. And, and during the reading, the student will see this a reversal in the upright position right that could right. be seen as an abundance of or you know there there have been times especially when we get more advanced where it's in the upright position but the rest of the cards in the question and everything pointing it to it show it in in the opposite light or a different mm-hmm. light mm-hmm. and and when that happens they're like well what just happened did I do that wrong it's like no, <laughs> no no you didn't no you didn't you saw the card the way it was meant to be read at the time Mm-hmm. by you don't let other people tell you what your damn cards mean like we're doing right now right <laughs> right now <laughs> it's what they can mean not what they we're do we're telling mean. you what they can mean <laughs> <laughs> but if we walk up behind you when you're doing a reading and say no <laughs> smack us in the head right uh, this is all from your point of view while mm-hmm. you're doing the reading so it's going to answer in a way that you understand. Mm-hmm. If I've said something or Sally said something, and you're like, no, I just don't get that. that. It doesn't fit into your world. The gods are not going to answer you with our tongues. Did that make any sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. It does. Just let your intuition come through with the card when you're doing the reading and, and trust your intuition. That's why you practice. And that's why I love the groups because you can, you know, you're not in a in an environment where if you're wrong, you're going to uh, f- turn into a mushroom in your chair, whatever <laughs> that meant. <laughs> but if, if you're, you know, if you've got a, a gut instinct and you say it in group, you're not so afraid of, of you know, the, the student that you're reading for might say, well, no, maybe I don't think so. But that's why it's called practice. Nine times out of ten. It's been, where the hell did you get that from? How'd you know that, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, nicely said. Anything else to add on this one? Uh, I could go on and on. No. Right? Um, and we could, and next time we will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for joining us today. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them for us enlightening us about the eight of swords she's she's a tricky creature and everybody sees her differently um yeah feel free to leave us any messages and we'll talk to you next time sharon thank you so much for being here thank you sally take care bye